So athletes need to train like bodybuilders. Let's talk about it. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to explain why athletes need to start training like bodybuilders. But before we get into that, make sure you guys like the video if you enjoy. And over 90% of you guys are not subscribed. So let's make sure we do that real quick. Now the things I'm going to go over in this video are things that are commonly associated with bodybuilders, but athletes can benefit from it a lot. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is hypertrophy. This is a term that is used quite often when it comes to bodybuilding because the term itself means to basically build muscle, to increase the size of your muscles. And there's a couple of reasons why this helps athletes. To be a good athlete, you need to be strong and you need to be powerful. But let's talk about the strength aspect. So when we increase the size of our muscles, you're also going to increase the strength to a certain degree. Now it's not a direct correlation because it depends on your interpretation of building bigger muscles. Somebody who loses a bunch of their body fat percentage might appear to be larger than what they were before because their muscles pop out a little bit more, but that doesn't mean that they're necessarily building muscle. So if we're talking about actually building muscle, there is a small correlation to also increasing strength when you do this. So if you're a football lineman, it's going to be very, very important if you have a good amount of strength because you're coming off of the line trying to protect your quarterback or your you're trying to sack the quarterback if you're on the defensive side so you need to be strong a bunch of athletes seem to think that if they do training that bodybuilders do it's not going to help them and they need to do more sports specific things like plyometrics and power cleans and all this stuff which you absolutely need but you need to build strength you need to build muscle a lot of the sports specific training that athletes talk about it requires having a good amount of strength because like I said earlier, you need to be powerful. You need to have a lot of power and power itself is defined as force times velocity. So in its simplest terms, that basically means how much force you can produce and how fast you can produce. If you're not building muscle and getting stronger, you're not going to have the first part of the equation to help you develop power. And the other thing I want to talk about, which is extremely underrated, especially from athletes, is your diet. Diet is also something else that is very heavily associated with bodybuilding or people who just want to lose weight. But athletes need to have a good diet. Athletes are usually going to need higher amounts of carbs because carbs are a power source in our body to help us do the things that we do like the sports on top of that to even increase the amount of power that you could possibly output you need to have a good diet so you can be lean now I'm not saying you have to be 5% body fat but you have to be lean enough to where you're not carrying that much fat on your body so you can use all of the lean muscle mass that you've put on diet is extremely underrated when it comes to athletes and i really think that's because athletes don't know so if you're an athlete that didn't know that your diet was very important i'm here to tell you that it is you guys need to make sure that you're trying to be as lean as you can in a healthy way and you guys need to be eating a bunch of carbs and protein so you can perform at your sport in the most optimal way so like i said athletes absolutely need to train like bodybuilders in the sense that they need to build muscle get strong and be lean and hopefully this helps some of you guys out so if it did leave a like and leave a comment with any kind of questions that you guys might have and that's basically the end of the video and i'll see you in the next one peace